Hey guys, what's going on? I got myself a new Epiphone Les Paul Custom. You know what I'm going to be doing with this guitar. I'm going to go ahead and take out the strings and put some new ones on. I'm going to go ahead and clean it. And also, of course, I'm going to go ahead and wax the body, make it look nice and shiny. Anyway guys, so let's go ahead and do this. So my new guitar here, it... Um, I got it straight out of the box at the Guitar Center store that I went to. I um, I unboxed it over there so I don't have to deal with the garbage um, back home. So um, in the box it was all the uh, the case candy and, and this thing was completely sealed so I know it's uh, totally new, never been played. But of course because it's been in the box it is super dusty and the frets look like it's been oiled from the factory I also checked the frets here they are all even so I, I checked that out already so which is good um, again this is a Les Paul modern so it doesn't say standard or custom it's just blank but I may change that and try to find something that does say modern but I don't think it exists um, so if it doesn't, it's okay. I'll just leave it blank. So, um, yeah, it's uh, pretty dirty. So what I'm going to do first is actually cut out all the strings already. I'm kind of surprised um, because this is a Les Paul Modern. It actually has, turn it around here, locking tuners, locking Grover tuners. And um, I guess Epiphone didn't train their didn't train their staff on how to wind up strings on a locking um, tuner because look it ha it, it, I took out a lot of strings still but oh well it's fine so I'm just gonna take these guys out it's been wanded up so much on locking tuners that's uh, okay Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take these things out and then I will go ahead and clean the guitar first and then wax it, of course. So guys, right now I am just cleaning the guitar body with my little uh, solution here. It's basically just um, water, mild dishwash uh, dishwashing uh, detergent. Or soap and just a little bit of rubbing alcohol just a tiny bit so you can just have some bite to it when it cleans if you know what I mean so again I got this right straight from the box never been played I was the one who opened it over there at, uh, at the guitar store I cut the tape off the box and and everything so it was completely sealed and because it was uh, completely new it was super dusty because it was just in, in the box for a while so after I clean this thing I'm gonna go ahead and do what I usually do with my new guitars I wax it you guys know that Oh, by the way, I'm not using my GoPro. I am actually using an iPhone 12 and using my BYMM1 mic to record this. All right. Just going to go ahead and try this now. Now if you guys are ever in the guitar store and um, you know looking for a new guitar, of course they have their display guitars where they uh, where the guitars are hanging on the wall. If you ever see a pick guard and if this still has a plastic on the pick guard and it gets all shrivelly over here, you guys probably seen that before. Do not buy that guitar. That means it's been played a lot. Either 
either has been used, brought home, been used by by the buyer and then decided to return it or it's just been sitting there for a long time so that's one sign that I usually look for if I'm buying a new guitar now you guys are probably thinking well where's your old guitar where's your uh, guitar that you bought two weeks ago the Les Paul standard 50s edition heritage cherry sunburst well it's not there anymore so th that guitar is gone okay so I cleaned it dried it up um, I will go ahead and uh, wax it now and then after I wax it I'm gonna go ahead and I will put a little bit of oil on the on the neck it's uh, just a little tad dry but not so much so I'm gonna go ahead and do the waxing now but before I do that because this is the Les Paul uh, modern it does have the coil split tabs where you can lift it out and push it back in so that's cool I can coil split these two humbuckers here to make it sound like it's a single coil of some sort um, and also because it's the modern it has this cut like this uh, whatever this cut is called it's supposed to um, the reason for it is supposed to make you play at the upper frets here a lot easier to uh, have easy access on it so I'm gonna go ahead and test that out later but right now again I'm gonna go ahead and wax this thing really quick yeah, all right so I'm just about done waxing it so I'm gonna go ahead and buff this thing now really quick oh man this is gonna look really nice once it's all been buffed out I'm not putting too much pressure on it So again, the reason why I um, I got rid of the Les Paul custom or the Les Paul standard 50s edition is because I didn't know that this guitar existed until I was watching YouTube and um, I was like oh there's a Les Paul modern that has some um, weight relief because they cut out holes in the body here to relieve some some weight now how much weight has been relieved it is about a good two pounds my uh, standard was about 10 pounds really close to 10 pounds this one they say is about eight eight pounds so I'm gonna go ahead and weigh that uh, once this is all done but I can see this thing getting shiny so that's cool just making sure that I'm buffing out all the wax. All right, there you go. All right, so again, I just finished buffing it. Very uh, nice and shiny now, very clean. So now I'm gonna go ahead and oil these guys, just a little bit with this Proline Lemon Oil Fretboard Conditioner. Now you can tell that uh, this is, um, I believe this is Rosewood. Um, so it's, uh, it's not that dry actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and just oil it just a tad bit, not so much, just to get peace of mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. 
All right, so I just sprayed some oil on my cloth here. And I'm just going to go ahead and just wipe the frets. All right, there you go. All right, well, there you go. I uh, oiled the frets just a tad bit. And also wax the body again these two here are, or these three here I can pull out for quill quill split so that's the one thing that I liked about this guitar and also the Grover locking tuners again Grover locking tuners on Amazon you get those for about a hundred bucks each for a hundred bucks a set so I'm glad it came with this guitar. Only thing that I am just curious about is that I wonder why this is blank. I checked out the Gibson line too, the Gibson, um, the Gibson uh, uh, Modern with the same color as this. That's the same model, but the more expensive one. And it is blank too as well. The uh, the uh, truss rod um, cover there. But I do want to go ahead and replace it. Something that just something that says standard or something, but I'm not even sure if that's the correct move or not. But anyway, moving on. I want to show you guys these two as well. Now on my standard, these humbuckers are pretty set low, but on this guitar, they're pretty high. And I think the reason why is because for the coil split. But I'm going to go ahead and change that. I'm going to go ahead and lower the, the base side to be just a little lower. And maybe leave the treble side alone for now. So now I'm going to go ahead and restring the guitar. Of course, my go-to, the, uh, the, uh, the Adrio. I keep, I keep not knowing how to pronounce this name but this is what I go for the nine gauges because I like to bend the strings a lot but I'm gonna go ahead and install them now okay now I'm gonna go ahead and check the string height gauge so there's a 12 fret right there and check it out it is actually on I believe it's 2.25 too high two point twenty five to two and a half I gotta bring it down to two point oh that's on the low E string on the high E string and these are both tuned high E string only supposed to be 1.5 but it's but it's on 175 all right guys so I finished uh, setting up the guitar put some new strings on it too as well I adjusted the uh, what do you call this I adjusted the height of the pickups right there I also adjusted the height of the stop bar and um, I also did some correction corrections on the uh, intonation so it's there uh, last thing to do now is just to test it out which I'm not gonna do because it's really late at night and can't be too noisy so that will be another day anyway guys Thanks for checking me out again. Again, this is my new guitar. I no longer have the Epiphone Les Paul Standard 50s. This is now the Epiphone Modern. Les Paul Modern, I should say. With the uh, locking Grover tuners and the pull-out pots. I can pull these guys out to uh, to uh, do a coil split.
but I'm not going to do that now. Again, that's going to be for another video because it's getting late. So, that's pretty much it. Check you guys out later. Peace. <laughs>